in order to debug our application, I have taken my events application as an example. If you want to design the same, you can check our video and design that up. Want to level up your skills in full stack development? Then check out my courses. Links are there in the description. All the content is well structured, which will help you to learn quicker. Now I'm taking it forward. And in order to run this in Android and iOS, what I need to do, I need to at first create the bundle, which will be our www folder with the help of Ionic build, because we are going to debug it for Android and iOS. For the web, you already know how to debug it. By checking the console, you can pass the breakpoints also and whatever is present in the dev tools you can directly implement those things i'm going to show you the same stuff to implement it in android and ios let's do that well this is showing an error because i have stopped ionic serve here okay now i'm going to run ionic build let me hit enter and it's going to build the project all right the build is completed now this is a www folder which is created and it has the files by with the help of which you can launch it for a web application all right now here i get some warnings basically it's coming in the event page scss and in the home page scss it is saying that i am exceeding the budget because for every scss file there is a budget of 2.05 kb but I'm exceeding it by 1.5 KB for this particular screen. That's a home screen. So we should not do that. Up. That is why it's must that you use little bit of CSS only. But if you are using little more CSS, then the best way to do that is in the global.scss. You can shift those files in global.scss and keep the same budget for the other files. Now let's remove these warnings quickly. I'll go to the events page SCSS file and look for the classes which we can directly pass it in our global.scss like this one. This is a class BG container which I can directly cut it from here and pass it into my global.scss in this particular way. Then what else I can do because we have uh, how much by 30 bytes. So I think it will be done but still I'll try to check few more things like the iron item so i think after passing this this warning will go away from our event page hopefully and let's go to our home page css file and do the same there too what am i going to do we have iron card event one then we have the category and event two also let me cut this tree and i'm going to pass it in my global.scss so let me paste it here okay once that is done, let's try it once again. I'll build this project once again and see whether these warnings are gone or not. This time you see there are no warnings which we are getting, right? Which means that everything is working as expected. So we don't need to worry about anything else, right? Great. Now the next step is to add the platforms for Android and iOS. Let's do that quickly. For that, the command is ionic cap add iOS. All right, the platform is added now. Let's go for the Android one also. Ionicap add Android and this will be added. If you do not know how to create a project, you can run the command Ionic start and it will guide you to create a new project. Okay, both the platforms are created. We don't have to do anything because we haven't used any plugin or so for which we need to do something in Android and iOS. We don't need to provide anything. We can directly run this up in Xcode and the Android Studio. Let me show you at first android studio so ionic cap open android that's a command to open it in directly android studio as you can see this is opened up in android studio right now after it is opened up i'm going to select an emulator here and run this up okay the app is installed and it is running here now if i go to get started let's see what happens now here you can see we don't see any images so there are bugs that are coming up we need to fix those bugs. How we can do that up? All right, let's do that one by one. So in order to debug our Android application, what we can do is we can take the help of the Chrome inspect. Let me just show you that part. So now let's go to our browser and I'm going to go for Chrome colon slash slash forward slash inspect. Now, if you run this up, 
what you will see you will see the devices that are connected if it is a real device also still you can work with that now here this is my application which i need to inspect so i'll open it up and you can see the same design here right now we don't see any image so how you can fix it well let's first check it out what is there okay rest of the things are working great so let's get back to our application here and what am i going to do well you if you try to do the same thing there it might get stuck so always try to do it in the device which you are inspecting okay now here what i need to check is why this image is not coming up in our code we have used inimg and imimg what happens is let me just show you in the ionic framework documentation it is shown here that this particular inimg is a tag that will lazily load an image so it is trying to lazy load an image and mostly used with virtual scrolling part where you have something in the view and you have a large list right but in our case the list is quite small and that is why there can be an issue with the inimg tag here okay so that is why it is not showing up hopefully but in our browser it is showing up properly and i have checked it earlier also with the inimg tag i have used it and it works pretty fine but in this case this is not happening we are not able to show the image properly and in order to fix that i need to change it to img tag let's do that so this is my code where what am i going to do i'm going to do one more thing in fact we have before like trying it out what i can do is you can in fact check with live reload also let's go to our home page html and in this particular one if i just scroll down this is the inimg tag which is used for the upcoming events and that's what we need to change but there is an option here to check in error let's check it out here in the documentation what function can we implement so in error is an event emitter that will emit an event whether the image is loaded or not so let's check it out whether the image is getting loaded or not is error is img error let me call this function and pass the event what will be triggered here let's go to our home page ts file and create this function event of type any and i'm going to log the event data now if you're using live reload you can see the output directly but since we are not doing that well I can still try it like if I try the live reload I think I won't see this problem I have tried it and that is why I'm going to build it up again but this time ionic cap sync will do the work for me it will build the www folder once again and also sync the project with the android and ios that's how I can directly run using the android studio I don't need to like do anything else Meanwhile, let me just close this particular one because it will be gone. I need to like run this again from our Chrome inspect. So it is good to go. Now I can again run the command ionic cap open Android if you are unsure that it is the same version. Otherwise, you can just try the earlier version directly. So I want the latest one. That is why I'm doing that. Let me hit the run button and it's going to create the application once again. Okay, the app is now launched. And if I go to this particular page, and go to my chrome inspect inspect it up but the error is not showing up right in the console log we do not have anything and if i try to check it out in this particular way let's just let's just check it out within the iron thumbnail what do we have we have the iron img but the size is not proper what if i give let me give it a height of 100 percent and a width of 100 percent and let me make it important you can see this is not impacted at all right and why is that so maybe there is something which is stopping it to be working so now i have tried with height width minimum height minimum width uh, by making it let's make it uh, let me make it important and let's see what happens still there is no impact here which means these classes are not impacting maybe some other class might impact but i'm not going to check that for the time being what I'll do is directly change the code because you are going to experience the same thing in iOS also. I have not shown you that part, but I'm going to show you for the this particular one, the categories one. 
as here we have just a background image it is showing up properly and this particular iron item divider is also not working so we need to fix all those designs one by one let's do it in this particular case what am i going to do is i will change in the html i'm going to change this particular one to img tag okay remove this iron error one we don't need that and remove this too once i do that up still it's not over let me remove everything from the ts file which we have just created let's do it and then which is the class which i'm using here this is in event one so event one we have moved it to global.scss file here we have the in img let me remove it and pass with an height to be 100 percent if you give that up it's going to show you the image let's try it now and you can make it important also if you want to but let's try it so i'll just sync the project and run it up again okay the build is complete it's time to try it once again let me hit the run button and see whether it works or not so this time if i go to get started you can see the image is showing up so it's working for us similarly i'm going to run this time in ios and fix the category one okay let's do that so this is our code where i'm going to run the command ionic cap open ios all right the xcode has opened up and i'm going to select the simulator this time the latest one 17.5 for the time being that's the latest version of ios and i'm going to run it there okay the build is completed let's wait for it to show up this is the one hiding behind and it will come up in a moment all right the app is about to launch the app is opened up let me go to get started and you can see here also i don't see the images and in fact the iron item divider is also not working rest of the part is working fine as expected isn't it so that's okay we need to fix the other things for doing that let's go to our code and what am i going to do i need to work with the this is i think category class right so i don't need to work with this the next is the category class which i need to work with let's go to our home page html and work with that so in the home page html the category that we have here we need to work with the iron item divider also we need to remove it i don't know why it is not working it used to work earlier in the same way and we have seen that it shows the same design into our browser one so if it is showing the same design in the browser it should show the same for android and ios but uh, maybe there is some tweak uh, in the iron item divider which i'm not sure about maybe there is some change which i don't see in, in the documentation for the time being so let's go to our iron card and i'm going to change this iron img to img tag okay once i do that up i have to go to global.scss file again now after doing that in our category class i'm going to remove this iron img and change it to img tag we where we are already passing the height and width so everything will be fine to work with we don't need to make any other change here and it's going to work now but before moving ahead let me also fix the other thing that is in the home page html the iron item divider instead of the iron item divider we can use something else let me just comment it and change it to let's say iron list header part or if you don't want that you can have an item also i think that is a better option let me work with iron item where lines will be none and i'm going to have an iron label within that where i'm going to pass all this and finally we will have a button so let me just move this button directly or i can copy it also i'll copy it and pass it here so the button will be the same there won't be any issue with the button just i need to fix this particular part and we can debug it in our browser also if you want to so let me go for ionic serve and i'm going to fix that here all right so in order to fix that let me pass a class to it and the class name let me pass heading okay or category heading to be precise now this category heading class i'm going to copy it and go to global.scss because that's where we have all the things in the category where we have passed iron item divider i think i don't think we have passed it here where actually i have used iron item divider let's check it out now the category class starts from here okay so we don't need to go to global.scss we have to check it in our home page scss file only for the iron item divider that we have used this is the one instead of 
this particular one I just need to pass or I can just comment it if you want to use it let me pass I an item of class you can directly pass the class also category heading but I prefer to do it in this way so that I can remember that it can be applicable only on the iron item not anywhere else now here for the iron label I will have this particular font size you can in fact remove this iron item divider also from here but I'll just skip it or should I remove it let me just comment it okay and pass it in this particular way so label is being passed now it's time to work with the iron image and the button here so I'm just going to paste it and fix it in this particular way what's wrong all right so this is done let's check it out okay it is coming up but not looking that great let me make font weight to be bold now the final thing which I need to apply is the background so dash dash background for this iron item I need to make it transparent okay if I do that up it's almost the same thing only which we need it's time to try it in our real device and let's see whether it works or not so I'm going to sync the project and stop ionic serve sync the project ionic cap sync so now the syncing is done and we just need to try it in our real device once again so ionic cap open ios if you don't want to open it directly you can just run this command it's pretty smooth to work with it and let me replace the application here and we will see how it goes well let's click on the button and we see the same design except the all so in the all uh, i think i have not applied it let's go for it once again in the home page see this small small things you need to take care of this is the one i and img let me just get rid of it okay now it's easy to work with it we will see the image here also don't need to worry you can just sync the project and check it out but for the time being this is working pretty nicely right everything is fixed up properly so that's what you need to do while debugging and one more thing if you want to look into how to debug like the the browser part like the chrome browser one you can just open up safari so here i have opened up safari and let me go to develop you can see iphone 14 pro max simulator is showing up go to localhost just reload it so that you can see everything in the console log and you can inspect in the same way as you do for the other applications like for android using the chrome inspect tools and for the browser also and in this particular way you can just inspect properly right so how easy it is for you to inspect now isn't it last thing which we need to check is in the android one so let me run it in android and we will see the all image also showing up properly there because we need to run the ios one again to see the changes which i don't want to show you right now let me just run the button after the syncing will be done all right it's ready let's go for it and it is up and running if i go to get started you can see everything is showing as expected the last thing which you can fix is this particular dot well you can resize it up as per your requirement for the android one but i think it's pretty okay uh, I think it should be a little smaller in Android device for the iOS we have seen it works pretty fine so this is how you can fix the bugs using the debugging tools of for the Android and iOS devices I hope you like this particular video if you're new here subscribe to the channel leave a like and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications this content is for free and it will help the channel grow so stay tuned to the channel for more valuable content and level up your coding only on coding techniques